<laughs> Hi everybody, my name is JP and this is Wander to Get Lost. <laughs> All right, so I'm changing out shocks. It's the last big project that I'm doing on the RV. I don't know if you can really see on there. It's kind of dark and landscapers are at my mom's house, but uh, I'm working on the top bolt. Need a little WD-40, but it's moving. Uh, there we go. So I actually ordered from Ford last week and I, um, we picked up on Saturday all new nuts and bolts just because these are so rusted. Uh, so I'm going to be swapping out the nuts and bolts and the front shocks. You can see the front shocks are disgusting. I don't think they've ever been replaced. Our RV has like 112,000 miles so you can see it's all corroded. Disgusting. So the top bolt is out. I'm going to leave that in place. I'm going to pop the bottom bolt. And then I'm gonna use a jack just to put some pressure on this so I can slide the bolts out and then uh, we'll be able to get it out of here. All right, I'm gonna work on the bottom bolt right now. Might be a while, so maybe we'll time lapse this bad boy. But I got uh, Bilstein front shocks. Unfortunately, the Bilstein rear shocks that I ordered are on back order and are probably not coming in until the end of the month, so we're gonna have to do those down in Florida. But I did get the new bolts. Um, from Ford for the rear shocks. So once uh, the shocks come in, they're gonna be shipped to me down in Florida and then we're gonna change out the rear shocks. So yeah, so hopefully this will help with the ride of the RV. All right, here we go. Pretty sure these bolts have been on here for 14 years. Oh, we got it. Nice. Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Now I just need to get the jack under here to give it some uh, force so that way I can slide the bolts out because the jack is obviously compressed right now so we gotta press it up a little bit to slide the bolts out. Alright, be right back. compress <laughs> yeah. Yay, there we go. All right, so important to remember um, there was a washer on the outside and then there's a washer on this side between the uh, chuck and the uh, mounting sleeve uh, 
yeah so don't forget that so two washers on this big bolt all right so i'm going to release the jack the uh this and then we'll be able to slide the top out all right stand by the new one yes success so far on this side all right so here's the new front shocks Bilstein's nice and pretty here's my new long bolt uh, the short bolt for the top two washers and then two nuts so let's get this mounted in and then um, once it's mounted in then we'll torque it to spec and then we'll go into the other side all right, so not too bad so far. All right, so got the shock outside bolt, then I got a washer, now I'm putting the other washer on this side, and then we'll slide it through. Get this nut on that side. Oh, one thing I forgot, I'm gonna use um, anti-seize. I gotta get that. I got the anti-seize. I'm gonna put a little bit inside my, the nut. And it'll go on the uh, on the bolt. Anti seize is great stuff, but it sticks to anything and it never comes off. So probably should wear gloves when I do it with this, but I'll probably have it on for weeks. All right, so that's in. I'm just gonna hand tighten.
good. going on everybody so rather than end the um this rv shocks video at when we were at my mom's house in patchogues decided to see how they performed over the course of our drive down here to key west so that's where we are uh currently in boyd's campground uh on stock island as close as to key west as we could get and um so yeah so i finally actually got my rear shocks here so i'll probably be changing those um, in the next couple of days, we're moving tomorrow to another RV park back to Sunshine Key. So I'll probably change these over there. But I think we put on, I think 1,200 miles, maybe 1,500 miles. Yeah, I think around 1,500 miles from when we left Patchog and then we did our little drive. We went to Tennessee and then South Carolina and then down all the way here to Key West. I have to say the front shocks were really nice um, I don't know if that's just because they were replaced from the crappy ones that were in there and it just made a noticeable improvement but uh, much better than what was there before I can't say these are any better than any other shocks that would be there but totally worth it so um, I can say they were noticeably I can't say there was a noticeable difference between the front and the rear end because every time we hit a bump on the rear end it was just like a big wham like just compression force was just probably bottoming out the shock the shock probably has no nothing left in it and it's just all rusted like the front ones were so i'm excited to now get these rear ones on and then um yeah i'll i'll give an update on how the rv rides with brand new shocks throughout so thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And yeah, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.